The Sony FS700 is an HD video camcorder with many unique abilities. This camera is used by Film 3 classes, Capstone students, or you may get special permission to take it out as a non-class user. So let's begin with the basics. The FS700 comes with two batteries. In each case, these are located on the Velcro side of the bag. In order to lock the battery into place, turn the battery so that the arrows on the camera line up with the ones on the battery. Place it in on the left and slide it forward into the battery compartment and push to the right. You should hear it click into place. The power button is located above the battery on the button panel. In order to turn the camera on, you must push down the green circle and push the switch to the right. The SD card slot is located to the left of the battery pack. You must open the SD card door and insert it there. Now before you film anything, it is important to look at these four major things. The iris on the FS700 is controlled by two buttons and a scroll wheel located next to the controls used to focus. In order to adjust the iris first, check if your camera is in automatic or manual mode by looking on the LCD monitor. If you see an A, you're in automatic mode. If there is no A, you're in manual mode. If you're adjusting the iris manually, make sure there is no A on screen and use the scroll wheel to adjust the light being led into the camera. To adjust the iris automatically, you select the iris button again and it will change to automatic. You can use the iris push auto button on the top by holding it down, it adjusts the light quickly and automatically while in manual mode. To adjust the iris automatically, you select the iris button again and it will change to automatic. If your subject is still dark with the iris all the way open, you can use the gain controls located on the side of the camera. If you push the gain control to medium or high, it electronically adds brightness to your picture. But be careful because the higher the gain, the more grain will be added to your camera shot. Conversely, if there's too much light, you can use the neutral density filters to reduce the amount of light reaching your camera sensor. The optical steady shot lens on the FS700 has a pretty decent zoom range. Before you can zoom, you have to unlock the zoom using a switch located on the top of the lens. After you do this, you should be able to twist the larger ring in order to make the lens zoom in or out. Just be sure to lock the lens before you put away the camera. The Sony Optical Steady Shot lens has two rings. The one closest to the body of the camera adjusts the focus. There is a switch on the side of the body next to the iris control where you can change between auto and manual focus. If you have auto focus enabled, you will not be able to manually adjust the focus using the ring. Above that switch, there is a focus hold button which can be held in manual mode to quickly automatically focus the camera. The last thing you need to adjust is the white balance. Each kit comes with a white balance card used to determine the right color temperature for your shot. Put your white balance card in front of your subject you are shooting. You must zoom into the white balance card until it fills the screen. The white balance button on the side of the camera toggles between automatic and manual white balance. You can set preset white balances using the toggle switch. To execute a manual white balance, toggle to either A or B and push the white balance button next to the toggle switch. Now you're ready to record. There are two places where you can start and stop recording. The first place is located on the top of the camera next to the on off switch. The other is located on the detachable handheld piece. Simply push the button to start and stop recording. When you're recording, you can see the record logo and see the timecode numbers moving. Similar to the PMW and 7D, these camera kits come with a wireless microphone and receiver. Mount the wireless receiver onto the shoe by sliding it back to front and screwing in the wheel. The FS700 has two XLR input channels. Input 1 is located behind a door located on the side of the body next to the right of the battery pack. Input 2 is above the detachable handheld piece. Wireless mics should be plugged into input 1. Shotgun, boom mics, or any other audio devices should be plugged into input 2. To adjust the audio levels, use the audio panel located at the top of the camera. This is where you have to select your inputs and audio levels. Input 1 and input 2 are located to the left and right respectively. Wireless microphone should be set to mic, and shotgun, boom mics, or any mic that requires phantom power should be set to mic plus 48 volts. Next, you have to select which inputs you want to record. For example, we have two audio sources. The wireless mic on input 1 should be switched up to input 1, and the shotgun on input 2 
should be switched down to input 2. You should be able to hear both sources in your headphones if this is done correctly. If you are only recording using the wireless mic, both inputs should have input 1 selected. If you are only recording using a shotgun, boom mic, or any other phantom powered mic, both inputs should have input 2 selected. We recommend to adjust your audio levels manually, however, they can be done automatically. To adjust them manually, make sure to have both inputs selected to manual. You can adjust the audio levels by using the two numbered wheels. If you want to hear both channels simultaneously through your headphones, above the battery pack is a headphone monitor that should be set to stereo mix. You can listen to each channel individually by pushing the bar left or right. Audio levels will be displayed on the bottom right of your monitor throughout the recording and should never touch the red bars. There is also a status check button on the side of the camera, which will display your audio levels in a larger format on screen. Although the FS700 comes equipped with an optical steady shot lens, it can be switched out for other lenses. Before you do this, you'll need the Metabones lens adapter for the new lens. First, attach the Metabones adapter to the new lens by lining up the dots on the lens in the adapter and twist it into place. Before detaching the lens, put the lens cap on. And to detach the lens, push the release button located on the lower corner of the front of the camera. While holding, twist the lens off, and before doing so, have the next lens ready to be put on as to not reveal the image sensor for too long. When putting on the next lens, line the dots on the lens and the camera body together and twist until you hear it click. When packing up your camera, turn off the camera, take out the battery by using the battery release located on the left side of the camera and sliding the battery to the left. Take out your SD card and close the LCD monitor. Put the lens cap on and make sure the lens is locked. Remove your mics and store them in the appropriate spots in the camera bag. You can use the inventory card inside the camera bag to check that you have everything the bag came with and that everything is put away in the appropriate place. Lastly, when putting the camera in the bag, make sure to unzip the bag completely and place the camera in gently to prevent any damages to the camera body, lenses, and microphones. If you need any assistance or are experiencing any difficulties with the camera, the staff at the technical services window would be happy to help you.